Welcome to Teach Me Animated Math. In this solve along video, you will learn how to do polynomial addition and subtraction. So how exactly do you do that? The most important thing to remember when doing polynomial addition and subtraction is to first identify which terms are the same. Next is to group all like terms. And last is to combine like terms using addition and subtraction. But of course, I know that just hearing me say how to do polynomial addition and subtraction might be insufficient. And as the great Bruce Lee said, Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. To get a better grasp of what you really need to do, you must apply the steps I mentioned by doing polynomial addition and subtraction yourself. Don't worry, because it's actually pretty simple. And I will show you how it is done in full detail. So, solve along with me to gain mastery of polynomial addition and subtraction. There will be a 3 second countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video to solve it on your own first. And then continue playing the video to see if you're correct. All right, let's start solving. Identify like terms. Terms with x squared are colored red. Terms with x are colored yellow. And the constants are colored green. Next, Group all like terms and arrange them in standard form. And just in case you haven't seen our polynomial introduction videos yet, then I suggest that you click the I button since they are essential for this solve along video. I also put the link in the description below. Alright, let's get back to grouping like terms. There is only one term for the x cubed. Group the terms with x squared. Group the terms with x. Group the constants together. Last, combine like terms using addition and subtraction. And the final answer is negative 4x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 5. Distribute the negative sign and identify like terms. Terms with variable c squared d are colored red. Terms with variable c d are colored yellow. And terms with variable d squared are colored green. Next, group all like terms and arrange them in standard form. Group the terms with c squared d. Group the terms with c d. Group the terms with d squared. Last, combine like terms using addition and subtraction. And the final answer is 3.5 c squared d plus 7 c d minus 6.6 .6 d squared. Identify like terms. Terms with p raised to 5 are colored red. Terms with p squared are colored yellow. And terms with p 
are colored green. Next, group all light terms and arrange them in standard form. Group the terms with P raised to 5. Group the terms with P squared. Group the terms with P. There is only one constant. Last, combine like terms using addition and subtraction. And the final answer is 9P raised to 5 minus 7P minus 4. Distribute the negative sign and identify like terms. Terms with variables a cubed b are colored red. Terms with variables a squared b are colored yellow. And terms with variables a b are colored green. Next, group all like terms and arrange them in standard form. Group the terms with a cubed b. Group the terms with a squared b. Group the terms with a b. Last, combine like terms using addition and subtraction. And the final answer is 0.03 a cubed b plus 0.05 a squared b minus 0.12 ab. Identify like terms. Terms with x raised to 7 are colored red. Terms with x raised to 4 are colored yellow. Next, group all like terms and arrange them in standard form. Group the terms with x raised to 7. Group the terms with x raised to 4. And arrange the remaining terms in standard form. Last, combine like terms using addition and subtraction. And the final answer is negative 6x raised to 7 plus 2x raised to 4, plus x squared plus 2x minus 5. Identify like terms. Terms with a w raised to 5 are colored red. Terms with a w cubed are colored yellow and the constants are colored green. Next, group all like terms and arrange them in standard form. Group the terms with w raised to 5. Group the terms with w cubed. There is only one term with w. Group the constants. Last, combine like terms using addition and subtraction. And the final answer is 2w raised to 5 minus 2w cubed plus 4w minus 9. Distribute the negative sign and identify like terms. Terms with variables x cubed y are colored red. Terms with variables x squared y squared are colored yellow. And terms with variables x y cubed are colored green. Next, group all like terms and arrange them in standard form. Group the terms with variables x cubed y. Group the terms with variables x squared y squared. Group the terms with variables x y cubed. 
Last, combine like terms using addition and subtraction. And the final answer is 0.08x cubed y minus 0.06x squared y squared plus 0.01xy cubed. Distribute the negative sign and identify like terms. Terms with variables mn raised to 5 are colored red. Terms with variables mn raised to 4 are colored yellow. And terms with variables mn cubed are colored green. Next, group all like terms and arrange them in standard form. Group the terms with variables mn raised to 5. Group the terms with variables mn raised to 4. Group the terms with variables mn cubed. Last, combine like terms using addition and subtraction. And the final answer is 0.001 mn raised to 5 minus 0.008 mn raised to 4 plus 0.12 mn cubed. Change the given statement into an equation. This step is more about reading comprehension than calculations. Distribute the negative sign and identify like terms. Terms with R squared are colored red. Terms with variable R are colored yellow. And the constants are colored green. Next, group all like terms and arrange them in standard form. Group the terms with R squared. Group the terms with R. Group the constants. Last, combine like terms using addition and subtraction. And the final answer is negative 1 fourth R squared plus 11 over 8 R plus 6 square root of 2. Change the given statement into an equation. Distribute the negative sign and identify like terms. Terms with y cubed are colored red. Terms with variable y are colored yellow. And the constants are colored green. Next, group all like terms and arrange them in standard form. Group the terms with y cubed. Group the terms with y. Group the constants. Last, combine like terms using addition and subtraction. Do a little bit of fraction addition and subtraction first, then simplify the expression. And the final answer is negative one tenth y cubed plus three halves y plus four square root of seven. And that's it. I hope you learned a lot in the third video of our animated polynomial series. As I said earlier, polynomial addition and subtraction is pretty simple as long as you identify, group, and combine like terms. In our next video, we'll throw in multiplication in the mix. This means that you'll learn how to do polynomial multiplication, addition, and subtraction. It's a solve-along worksheet, so you'll have examples with step-by-step -step solutions that are very easy to follow. So be sure to subscribe to Teach Me Animated Math. 
and don't miss out. See you next time.